Inside one of the contracts for the MakerDAO's stablecoin, there's a function that calculates compound interest rate. This function is called R power. The way it calculates the compound interest is by using what's called binary exponentiation. However, this code is written in assembly. So in this video series, I'm going to teach you just enough assembly so that we'll be able to understand this code. For the first part of this video series, we'll learn how to declare variables inside assembly and also how to assign variables to them. Okay, to first write some code inside assembly, we'll declare the assembly block, assembly, and then inside here, we'll write our code. To declare a local variable, we can say that x, let's make this equal to one to three. And the way we declare a variable inside assembly is by putting colon, equal sign, and let's say one to three. So this is how you would declare a local variable inside assembly. Now, another example that I'll show you in this video is how do we assign a solidity variable, let's say u int z, let's say this u int z, we want to assign it to some value. So what we do is inside here, we say z colon equals, let's assign this to 456. And this is how you would declare a local variable inside assembly, and also how to assign a value to a solidity variable. Let's try compiling this contract. I'll hit control S inside my remix to compile the contract and the contract compiled. So let's try deploying this contract. Open the deployment tab, deploy the contract, and then I'll call this function yolet. And we get that the value of z is equal to 456. This 456, we get it from this line. To this variable z, we assigned 456, and then we returned it here. 